The common misconception that might be held by many about the dairy industry is it's uh, you know someone on a tractor with a straw hat and um, what I'd offer is it's everything but that. This is truly a revolutionary technology that we're involved in from an engineering standpoint, from a biology standpoint, from a chemistry standpoint. It's fascinating. Um, you look at the pace of the business, the sense of urgency that needs to be a part of it. Um, there's a sense of walking into a stadium at a football game and that excitement before the team kicks off. That's the level of urgency in one of our factories. What attracted me to the dairy industry was basically my love of food. I like cheese, so why not make cheese for a living? You want to make the product that you would be proud to serve to your family, and that's what we do every day. Don't shrink away because you hear dairy. I was amazed how that related to my actual military uh, career and job training. We organized a, a plan, a working plan, and within the first hour or two, your team needs to go out and perform that plan. You know, as an engineering graduate, uh, I'm very fascinated by technology and the advancements. And years and years ago, mozzarella cheese was not unlike uh, making a, a dough for a pizza or dough for bread. And now, through automation, through mechanical technology, through innovative design, through the application of biology, we're actually able to produce millions of pounds of mozzarella cheese every single day in, in one plant. Uh, we take in 10 million pounds of milk a day to do that, so to make quality product for our customers is to make it consistent and that's really where the managing and the direction and leadership comes in. Dairy foods manufacturing in particular is a real growth industry. There's a lot of people uh, who are leaving management positions in other manufacturing industries looking to apply those disciplines and skills and knowledge that they've learned. Engineers, scientists, junior military officers who have leadership experience. This is a perfect place to bring those kinds of experiences. I think leadership is important because remember that these individuals are going in to manage a team of people. That's the ability to analyze a situation, develop some possible responses, and then act on those responses to solve the problem. We realize that the best way to get those people into the industry is to build an exciting program that they could complete rapidly, retrain, transition into this industry in one year, take an intensive set of courses, an intensive study with learn by doing, hands-on practical experience. They're going to be exposed to these processes. They're going to be put into a dairy plant to see exactly how things operate not only the manufacturing side, but also some of the research aspects. So they'll be industry ready when they get out the door to go into these plants and, and be contributors to the success of those operations. I think of a, a professional in another business looking at the dairy industry as a, as a potential home. There are a few things I would offer for that individual. Is, is one, there is a security and a longevity to the dairy business that, that I think is very, very unique. Um, the milk supply can only go uh, a very, very short distance and only a very short period of time, which means our production is going to be done very local in the small towns here in America. I think number two is we're an industry that I think is changing and progressing at a very rapid rate, not just on the technological side, but on the cultural and people side. We're finding the need to grow the citizens within our four walls to be contributors in the societies that we live in. Yes, you need to be a leader. Yes, you need to be able to solve problems. Yes, you need to be able to make decisions. Those are all super important, but do you have a passion for putting out a product that is affecting the lives of millions of people around the world? Because I do, and that's why I love my job.